What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the world of gaming and welcome back to the walk lab. Now, as you see these uh, pink particles... Oh, they've stopped. Damn. Okay, so no time for an intro today because we have a lot of work to do. Today, I'm going to show you the Galactic Craft mod, which is probably fairly known as it is uh, the only mod, actually, which allows you to go up to uh, the moon. Uh, that's right. In Minecraft, we're going up to the moon. Now, Mr. Hustley can't be here today because I had to delete the custom NPCs mod in order to uh, have this second inventory tab, which is added by the mod itself. So be wary of that, that Galactic Craft might be not compatible with some mods who require uh, or who put some buttons here at the top of this inventory because Galactic Craft will do that. Okay, so yes, we're going to the moon and this time in complete survival mode. So, uh, Mr. Asley has built a complete new site of the lab, which is the launch site. And uh, we're getting in as the world is loading and I set the goddamn time back to day. Thank you. So, of course, our launch pad is extra secured. We don't want anyone taking a rocket and uh, go away. Okay, so um, there is a lot of stuff to cover. This mod is really very, very big. Oh, and that's why I'm actually going to uh, divide it in three uh, episodes. In this first episode, I will cover the basics. Uh, what you need to do to get into space, to get to the moon, and to set up a base there, okay? Um, that's the basics in this episode. In, another ep in the next episode, then, I will show you how to get to Mars, because we can get to uh, the moon as well as to Mars. And in the last episode, I will show you uh, how to make a cargo rocket and set up a space station, okay? So right now we only have the basics, so let's get started. So this mod adds 1, 2, 3, 4 new ores, which are copper ore, aluminum ore, tin ore, and uh, this is actually silicon ore. Um, so aluminum ore and tin, are uh, they really look the same, but as you can see, aluminum is a bit darker than tin. So this will actually uh, give you... If uh, Yeah, I have to be in creative mode, actually. Let's just get into creative mode until we're going to space. And you are really bothering me a lot, sir. God damn you. Thanks. Okay. So use copper ore to make copper ingots. If you smelt that, you can make tin ingots. Oh. You can make tin ingots from smelting tin or and you can get aluminum ingots from uh, smelting aluminum and you get uh, Yeah, that's not really going to work. There's a little bug there uh, And you can get s raw God damn it. Well, you can get raw silicon, which is uh, Right Why is there so much lag right here? So raw silicon is get from smelting this silicon ore. Uh, okay, so uh, first of all, right, so there's a whole lot of stuff. First of all, let me show you, come on, the basic astronaut kit. I will get back to that later. Uh, okay, so this is the launch tower right here, and this is the BAK or basic astronaut kit. This is all the stuff you're going to need when you're going into space. Now, first of all, let's talk about um, how to make sure you have oxygen and stuff, because that's the most important thing, and later on I'll talk about getting to the rocket. So first of all, you're going to need oxygen gear and oxygen mask. An oxygen mask is simply made by, put by surrounding an iron helmet in glass panes, and this will give you the oxygen mask. The oxygen gear is made by... Uh, surrounding an oxygen concentrator with five oxygen pipes. An oxygen concentrator is made with an oxygen vent, compressed steel and a tin canister. So, um, actually, I'm getting a bit ahead of myself. So, you can actually use the item you saw here. This is the compressor, right? You can actually make 
um, if it is that stand here, you can make compressed tin, uh, compressed bronze, iron, steel, copper, and uh, aluminium and uh, aluminium and tin with the compressor. You basically uh, put two copper ingots, tin ingots, uh, aluminium ingots, whatsoever, in the compressor, and that will compress it to these plates. Okay, so that's how you get to these plates. Bronze is of course made. Uh, is there a bronze ingot? Let me see. Um, no, but there is a bronze is made by uh, compressed bronze is made by putting a compressed copper and compressed tin together in the compressor. Okay, so that's how you get to those um, to those uh, plates. Right, you need to make the oxygen here. So, the oxygen concentrate is so compressed tin and compressed steel. Ah, steel, compressed steel is made with compressed iron and two blocks of coal. Right, you can actually also make a normal steel ingot, I think. Let me just see if I can find it. No, it's a bit weird. I no, it's no, sorry, it's artifice. I have steel, sorry. So, no. Compressed steel, no steel ingots on itself. So a tin canister is simply made by uh, putting seven tin in a U shape, which will give you two tin canisters. And the oxygen vent is used with is made with three compressed tin and one compressed steel. And now we have one last thing, which is the oxygen pipe, which is made with six glass pane. Okay, so it's a lot of stuff. I know. Let's actually just put this on already. So, uh, when you go to your uh, game mode survival, you go to your second inventory, you put the oxygen mask here, and the oxygen gear right here. Now, how does that look? Now, that looks just absolutely fabulous. Of course, without uh, oxygen, we're nothing, so we need oxygen tanks. Oxygen <coughs> tanks come in three sorts. You have light, uh, medium, and heavy. Why can't I talk f and do this? So, uh, light is made by using a piece of grit of lime wool with a tin canister and compressed copper. This will give you the light. Uh, where is it? Where is it? The light oxygen tank. The medium oxygen tank. Whoops. God damn you. Is made by using two pieces of orange wool, two tin canisters, and two, com two compressed tin. And the heavy oxygen tank is used with three red wool, three tin canisters, and three compressed steel. So they get more expensive um, when they are heavier. So these are already filled, but I will show you what you need to do um, to um, fill these. So let me just get a heavy oxygen tank. So if we go up, um, if we go up here to our special balcony, you'll see a whole bunch of things. So on Earth, you will go. You're going to need this setup: so an oxygen collector, an oxygen compressor, and an oxygen pipe. So the oxygen collector, right, is made by using three compressed steel, an oxygen fan, which is made by using compressed steel, a basic wafer, and oh my gosh, this is ah, uh, a basic wafer. Hang on, um, a basic wafer is made by using the circuit fabricator, which where where did, where have I put that? Uh, the circuit fabricator, I put that there. No, ah. Uh. Where is it? The circuit fabricator. Here we go. So it needs power as well. Hang on. I think that's that. Ugh, I'm an idiot. It stands here. So the circuit circuit fabricator needs a diamond. Uh, and depending on what you make, it either needs a redstone piece of dust, a redstone torch, or a redstone comparator. And always to silicon. So as you saw... Making an oxygen fan requires a piece of redstone, a redstone torch here, two silicon and a diamond. And this will make you a basic waiver tree, to be precise. So you put that with a piece of redstone and four compressed steel and you get the fan. Now you put the fan together with the tin canister, the oxygen fan, the compressed aluminium, the oxygen concentrator and three compressed steel. And this will make an oxygen collector. So it is actually really expensive. The other thing you need is the oxygen compressor, and the oxygen compressor is made by using the oxygen concentrator to three compressed aluminium, oh my gosh, three, four compressed steel, and one compressed bronze. Well, thank you. You 
you son of an asshole. As you can see, whoa, these solar panels protect themselves. Cool. Put the goddammit weather away. Mm, that's so cool. Uh, okay, so that's how you make the oxygen compressor. Now, so you're going to need the oxygen pipe as well. Now, how you make this? Uh, so you have to set this up very simply. The oxygen collector, the red output, the oxygen pipe has to go into the red output and has to be connected in the green output of the oxygen compressor. Okay, that's good. Now, if you right click, you can see that you can actually have a power slot here. You can either use a battery which is made by a piece of redstone coal and one, two, three, four, five compressed in, which will make you a battery, which you will have to charge. Um, I actually have no idea how to charge this. Let's see here. Um, is there a specially block or something? I think maybe energy storage module. Um, mm -hmm. I actually have no idea how to do that. Um, I, if, I think, in fact, you are always going to need some kind of power source, and I think that the uh, solar panels are the best. So these are basic solar panels. Okay, so on the ground, you actually just need a basic solar panel, which needs a basic wafer. Aluminum wire, which is just alu aluminum surrounded in any kind of wool. So aluminum wire, compressed steel, a steel, a steel pole, which is, which is just compressed steel like that. A full s uh, no thank you a sol a full solar panel which needs three aluminum wire and a single s and six single solar module which needs three glass three aluminum wire and a blue solar wafer which needs to be created in the circuit fabricator so these recipes are very detailed and very expensive and they require a lot of process. Luckily Galactic Craft has a wiki which will help you and I'll put that in the description below. So this oxygen collector actually needs a lot of power. As you can see it, it has run out of power again. While these are actually, I think this, it's this thing that's sucking up the power of this thing. So. Uh, on the ground you just need a solar panel to power the oxygen collector and the oxygen compressor. The power goes into the other slot of the two machines. And you can also use this to power the circuit fabricator and the refinery, but I just um, will get into that later. So basically this will transfer this will collect oxygen and will transfer that to the oxygen compressor. You can just simply put a tank in here and it Compressor tank slot. Place oxygen tank here to fill it with breathable oxygen. Okay. Um, no, that's weird. It should show you um, how many oxygen there is already inside, but apparently it doesn't. And it, it so as you can see, it fills very, 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 very slow. So you're gonna have to charge these using the oxygen compressor and the oxygen collector, right? So let me just get that out of there. And I think this, uh, I think if it's run out, it will charge again. I think I'm not really sure. Okay, so then you have your oxygen tanks. Beautiful. Let's just go back to game mode survival. Uh, let's put, that doesn't work, fine. So you can have up to two of these. I'm having two just because of the sake of it. Okay, check. All right. Um, the last personal stuff you need, ouch, is actually, thank you, is actually a parachute, and a parachute is made by using three canvas and three string. A canvas is made by combining five string with two sticks, so not too expensive, right? Parachute, you're going to need that if you go back to Earth. If you go back to Earth, you will fall and you will need a parachute for a safe landing. Alright, this here is the frequency module, but I will not go over there right now. Uh, again, uh, this has a pretty cool wiki and it will help you with that. Okay, now of course we uh, need to make the rocket. That's right. So, the rocket... We're going to f for going to the moon. You simply need a tier one rocket. Now to make that, you need the NASA workbench. 
and the NASA workbench is made by using a graph table, an advanced wafer, which uses a redstone repeater, a piece of redstone, two raw silicon and a diamond in a circuit fabricator. So an advanced wafer, a crafting table, four compressed steel, two levers and a redstone torch and it looks amazing. All right. If you right click on this you will have a tier 1 rocket. If you press next you will see add new schematic. You can add a schematic here for the cargo rocket and the tier 2 rocket but we'll go over that in another episode. So the tier 1 rocket as you can see needs a couple of um, stuff. Okay, so this here is where you make the rocket. Here you place chests to give your rocket some storage space. So let's just go for the normal tire one rocket. So it needs a nose cone, one, two, three, four, eight heavy duty plates, tire one, one rocket engine, and four rocket fins. To make the nose cone, you need a redstone torch and a heavy duty plate. Uh, three heavy duty plates. To make a heavy duty plate, you use two compressed steel, two compressed aluminium, two compressed bronze in the compressor, and this will make you one, one heavy duty plate. So you're going to need a crap load of this. It's unbelievable how expensive this rocket is. So three of that and a redstone torch. Oh my god, this is going to be... So you're going to need eight heavy duty plates for the center, four rocket fins. A rocket fin to require two compressed steel and uh, two, uh, four heavy duty plates mm, uh, times four to make four rocket fins and the last thing you need is the tire one rocket engine which needs the tin canister four heavy duty plates a button and a flint and steel and the button can either be on this side or on that side as you can see so let me just actually grab all this uh, stuff so uh, we need the nose cone four of those one two three four eight of those and one of this and we're going to take three chests with us as well uh, uh, not a trapped one as we're going to need a lot of storage space so uh, there you go right there the, tr the chest there god damn it I forgot one oh come on it spits all of them out that sucks alright we should actually be able to see some particles do we? No. Okay, not anymore. So yeah, let's do that again. That was a bit of well, that was kinda anti-climax. Yep, yep, yep. There we go. So actually, if you only put one chest in there, it will give you a storage space of 18, which is basically your entire inventory space. I think one, two, three, four, my multiply by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, four multi No, that's not. Um, so it, I think it's only this. Yeah, I think three. Yeah, it's only this. If you had one more chest, I think it is this. Yeah, and one more chest is even more than that. So bam, there we go. And we actually hold this rocket very funny in our hands. If you can see, I'm holding my own rocket. I'm strongest man in the world. <laughs> okay. So god damn it, I'm really getting nervous. Okay, we got our rocket, we got our outfit, what else do we need? A shitload of stuff. So, first of all, we're going to need a red flag. And why? This is simply uh, because uh, we're going to show to, uh, to the guys on the moon that we are there. Then, uh, we're going to need some food. As you can see, you can make cans of food. This is a dehydrated potato. And you, use it, and you make that by using the tin canister and two potatoes. And I guess the dehydrated apple is just the same, but then replace the potatoes with apples. Now, I'm not sure if normal food will work. I guess not. Well, let's take some of that with us in case you can also make dehydrated melon dehydrated carrot by the way let's just take some of that we're going to need some building blocks of course because we want to build a, an outpost um then we're going to need an advanced uh, a solar panel this can either be a basic solar panel or an advanced solar panel an advanced solar panel needs four compressed steel one steel pole one advanced wafer and two heavy alum aluminum wire Alum heavy aluminum wire is made by using a piece of wool with an aluminum wire and another aluminum ingot. Okay. Uh, 
and that's it okay this makes the advanced solar panel not too expensive actually we also need the oxygen bubble distributor I will talk about that later we also need the oxygen pipe the sensor glasses are actually not really um, recommended but I actually you just uh, you even can't pick these up because these require meteorite ingot and you can find these on the moon but I will just show you I hope you just pick those with me to show you something cool so actually this is not rec uh, this is not needed um, so if we're going to use the oxygen bubble distributor we're also going to need some power and a way to transport that fire so we need some aluminum wire an oxygen well actually so this this and this is actually not required except for the oxygen pipe um, but power is not really necessary as well. This is just to have, this is uh, the advanced way, okay? So the basic way is the oxygen collector, the oxygen pipe, the oxygen sealer, which is needed to keep the air into your base, an airlock frame and an airlock controller. So an Oxygen sealer is made by using four compressed aluminium into the corners, two compressed steel like that, two oxygen vents, I've already shown that, right, um, and one oxygen fan, and this will make the oxygen sealer. Actually, now I must uh, keep my hand with this. Does this require power? It does. It does. So actually, we do need this. So we, you need, sorry, so you need a way of power so okay the advanced solar panel is also the basic stuff this doesn't okay what else the airlock frame is made by using an oxygen concentrator and uh, six aluminum compressed aluminum and two compressed steel which will make four of them now you're actually not going to need as much as 64 but you are going to need um, the amount of a doorway I believe yeah just the amount of a doorway so that's actually one two three four five six seven eight you only need eight so to prove that I'm actually going to take only eight with me there we go is it raining mm, no uh, the airlock controller requires a basic wafer to compress meter oh this is well this is stuff you gather from the moon so um, you actually get this from raw meteoric ingots and I think you can find those on the moon actually um, god damn it I'm actually not sure hang on um, raw meat well you won't show a uh, meat or that's going to be so misspelled um, I'm just looking at the wiki here. I just think this controller is that not necessary? Or maybe I actually just do uh, search for the air. Oh, yeah, I already the air lock control con to see if it's actually a necessary part. The air lock controller. Oh my gosh, this is going slow. Sorry that uh, this takes so long. But, uh, yeah, good. Airlock controller. Let's see. The airlock controller allows the automatic control of an airlock. So, I think you're, well, I don't, I'm not actually really sure, but I think you're going to need, but, then wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. It is made with meteoric stuff there. Let's just see how, if I can find this. Here we go. Raw meteoric ingot uh, iron. So can be obtained by a fallen meteor. Okay. Uh fallen meteors can be found, they fall at random into damn it. Okay, but well, I'm not sure if you need that, but I guess if they are gathered from falling meteors, then you can't actually make this already. Oh, I'm just going to take me with you and we'll, ju and we'll see how it goes. Now, that's all. that all makes sense, but why the hell do we need oak sapling, dirt and bone meal? Well, 
We're in Minecraft, and in Minecraft things go otherwise than uh, in the real world. Because in Minecraft, you know what have you actually have to tr to uh, plant a tree on the moon in order for your oxygen collector to work, of course, because there is no oxygen in the bloody space. So yeah, we. Uh, so you're just going to have to grow a tree. That sounds so weird. Okay. Um, actually... This thing requires a bloody door. There we go. Much better. Let's just place the keycard reader here. Not not like that, you fool. Good. Level of security. Free, of course. Good. Okay, guys. So, I've... Let's just put that away. I think we have everything we need. As well as a weapon. You definitely want a weapon. I think there's no host... I've, yeah, yes, yes, there are. There are hostile mobs on the moon. Spoiler, I know. I'm sorry. But, so, you need a sword... And eventually, if I were you, I would take a armor set. And actually, y if you want to collect stuff from the moon, you're also going to need a special pickaxe, which is a heavy-duty pickaxe. Heavy-duty pickaxe is made by using tree compressed steel. So that's actually something you are going to need as well. I'm going to... Uh, leave my keycard in here. I hope you will land at the same spot as you've launched. I actually have no idea. Let's just uh, set my spawn here just in case. Alright, so if we're going to place the rocket down on this launch pad, right, that's actually an another thing you need. So you need three compressed ingots and three blocks of iron, which will give you nine rocket launch pads, and that's exactly the amount you need because you place them in a three by three square. Okay, good. So, uh, we're going to go. I am, however, going to um, put some bloody armor on. Whoa, no, I, I did not mean to get in there. Well, why can't I? Oh, yeah. It makes a copy. I already forgot. Alright, so just to set the time today and weather clear so we have a nice launch oh god i fucking forgot you need rocket fuel ah, that's such a new mistake right of course of course i knew it i knew i bloody forgot something fuel right fuel you get this from refining oil so basically you're going to need another stuff okay sorry i that was so anti-climax there so you need a portable oil extractor, which is made with three compressed, uh, two compressed steel, three compressed bronze, and one redstone. You can find its own oil will spawn randomly around the world, like in Tekkit, if you remember that. Uh, so you have to pick it up, put it into a uh, empty liquid canister, which is made by with one compressed steel, glass, tin canister, and six compressed tin, and that will make a filled oil canister. And you actually have to put this into the refinery. Why did I g give my card back? Yeah, that's not going to work. Woo! Oh my gosh. So yeah, the refinery. So this thing needs power. You put oil in there, right? It's actually, wow, really? That little bit? I think it gives 1,000. And this will generate uh, fuel which of course we are going to need another liquid canister in order to uh, fill it right right so okay um, now how do you fuel the bloody thing um, <laughs> actually I have no idea I think uh, I think it's just if you go into the rocket right and you press F, fuel is empty, requires a fuel loader, you fucking... Ah, oh my god. Oh, okay, so the fuel loader, where is that son of a... 
There we go. Fuel loader. We need one, two, three, four compressed steel, one tin canister, two compressed aluminium, and a basic wafer. And this will make that fuel loader. Alrighty. Good. So we can put fuel in there, and we need a uh, battery. But how do we, in for bloody hell's sake, connect this to the rocket? Well, like that. Like that? Don't tell me you just. How do you load? How do you load the bloody rocket? Oh, you bastard! You made a hole. So let me just grab a f full fuel canister. Let's place that in there. Let's also, god damn you, um, get an infinite battery. You can't craft these for some reason. Where will it load? Will it automatically load into the rocket? No. Is there some kind of fuel pipe? Get, get away. Uh, God, gosh darn it. Well, this is going smoothly. Alright, I will find out what we need to do, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I found it. So, basically, you actually have to um, put the fuel loader directly next to the rocket launch pad, okay? Uh, so, it's empty, so one of those canisters will fill approximately your entire fuel tank. Okay, luckily, because, pff, gosh darn it, man. Right! Is that everything? Right, okay, gosh, good, my god. So, let's go into space. So, our inventory is uh, full, right? We got everything we need. Let's set our game mode to survival, time, set, day, and weather. That's wonderful weather clear and now we can finally launch so when you get into the rocket you might have seen this you get in uh, this kind of f5 mode from pretty far away and you see me standing in there um, so basically at the left you see a little bar with the progress of our rocket how far it needs to go to uh, get into space also you will see a little countdown above the rocket's nose um, for the rest, you just saw the controls coming up there, so space to launch, A or D to turn left or right, W or S to turn up or down. Now, B and F to show the inventory or and fuel. So, as, you, as I said, you can stack all this stuff into here, but we're not going to do that. Uh, we're just going to keep it by ourselves, because you do get the rocket back after you land and the launch pad. Uh, spoilers. But... Uh, the, the items are still in the rocket. Okay, so whew, are you ready? Um, I do advise you to not uh, con try to control the rocket or you will crash it. So just press space and let's go. Okay, let's go. It starts counting down, shaking. Oh god, we're getting a little sound effect here. Oh, 13, 12, 10, 9. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and we're lift off. And as you can see, your launch pad is getting destroyed, and we're going up the launch tower. Woo! See you later! Yeah, look at this. Is it night? Wow, we can see, we can see the earth already. Wow, that's going pretty fast, actually. Look at that, the square Minecraft craft of course, done. Look at that, amazing. As you can see at the left, we're halfway through, nearly getting there. My feet are popping out just a little bit. Oh, well, just like that, this is a little bit of as well. Uh, look at the particle effects, amazing. Oh, sound is 
lost the sound for some reason. Okay. Uh, I'm actually wondering if your rocket will be fueled. And then we're getting this uh, screen, which looks awesome, by the way. So right here, I have no idea what this, what that stands for. Um, no. The moon, as you can see, it is habitable, has no oxygen, and the gravity is 18%. The overworld is full of life, habitable, and the gravity is 100%, and you can create a space station. But as you can see, you need 32 tin ingots, 24 iron ingots, 1 advanced wafer, and 16 aluminum ingots. So we'll get to that in another episode. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go... Excuse me. We're going to the moon. Sent to dimension. And now you get this screen here, which is a little bit weird. Just hang on. Oh, hold space to slow down. Okay, so uh, at this moment we're in some kind of satellite. And as you can see, uh, you have to hold space to kind of slow down. Uh, if, you, if I release space, as you can see, speed will go up. And uh, it will go into red when it says, oh my god, you're going too far. There's the moon. It's still coming way too... Oh, gosh. In the middle of a crater. Okay. So we press left shift to get out of there. And here we are. We're on the moon. Okay, it's time to say legendary words. This is one small step for uh, a Minecraft player. But a big leap for Minecraft, yeah. Oh my gosh. So as you can see, gravity is really nice. If I jump, oh, I can jump longer and probably also higher. And which is cool, if you throw something, it is also getting affected by gravity. Look at it, look at this. Wow, that's so cool. I really like that effect. So this is our, uh, whatever it is, but the model on it looks just amazing. There is a day-night cycle here. However, it goes very slow. So if you right click on that, you see lander we only have a little bit of fuel left you get your launch pad back and your rocket okay so now we're we are on the moon and we have to uh, get, make haste and set, well not really make haste and set up our base now there's two ways you have to do it you can do that but we are going to start with the uh, most uh, simplest way first so we're going to have to grow a tree so we just punch some of this, uh, whatever it is, moon turf out. Uh, play, play, place a bit of... Uh, have I got two rockets now? No, place all that. Da -da 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 Boom. Okay, we have a tree on the moon. Uh, bit weird. Now, we have to place our oxygen collector. Let's just see. Right here. Will that work? It says like, oh, it has not enough power, of course, so we're going to change that. Put a solar panel there. Okay, get our wire. Ah, of course, it's the wrong. Gosh darn it, input. So we're going to have to break this stuff. So at the right, top right corner, you can see my oxygen, and I fucking break it. You break it? <sighs> okay. So... I have, to, I have to warn you, you have to break it with a pickaxe or else you will, god damn it, break it. So let's put it down again, connect the power, like this. Let's see, okay, it says not enough power, of course you have to enable this. And it should get power very soon. Uh, just give it a little bit of time for this to charge up. In the meantime, let's go back to game mode. S. Woohoo! Oh my gosh. Woo! And there you are, you piece of. Come on. So, I think it's collecting oxygen. Already. Just a little bit. Um, okay, and then we actually need the oxygen pipe to get. So, we're going to make a small base here. Um, so, very simple. Just like that. A little room here. Very shitty little room. Oh god, I think I might have forgotten something. I think I might have forgotten something. Uh, I think so. I think... 
gosh darn it. Jeez. Why don't you take power? What do you mean not enough power? This thing is giving all the power you want. Uh, it's taking a while. It, sh it should soon start receiving power. Don't worry. Come on. In the meantime, I actually have to make the airlock. Uh, we just break this. Look at this. They're just floating away. My Those damn blocks. Okay. So, uh, uh, as well as you can see, my footsteps remain in the ground. Uh, so, oh, gosh, gosh darn it. Bloody hell. Stop floating. Actually, hang on a second. If you, Will they float up? Will they disappear forever? Oh my gosh, that would be cool to check that out. So, let's just um, put an iron block down. There, no need for flying mode here. This is so good. I wonder if this will uh, change. Okay, so now what? See? I've oh, yeah. I have to do this side. Duh. Give me the blocks. Now, will this? I, I, I don't think... I, I do think you need a controller. But... That's pretty weird, as it requires some meteorite ingots. I mean, this doesn't seem to... It's just a frame. I don't think this will work. Ah, you can't... No, of course. I don't know what... What... What's... You, fine. All right. Whatever, guy. Whatever. Good, here. Oh, Mr. Idiot. I don't know, this, I, that, I don't know, this should work, but there is, I don't know, there's something. See, now you're getting power. You should get power from that. I don't understand. You are a stupid machine, you know that? So you have this little particle effect, and he will collect oxygen. Uh, so, yeah. Let me just get the controller. Let's see, this should work then. So, uh, play opens with a redstone signal. So then, of course, we need... A uh, lever. See, there we go. That's an airlock seal, and now we can open and close it. There we go. So that works indeed. That's how you make an airlock, a, a, a kind of door in your uh, little base. Well, fine, good. Uh, so. You just make a tiny, tiny little room, not too big, with a with a roof, of course. Okay, so now if we just replace all of this with some iron, just for the sake of it. Uh, okay, now I'm going to test something out because I'm not sure if this will actually work. Where are my oxygen tanks? Uh, pipes. So, there they are, alright. So let's just make it go in here and then this should be hooked up to your oxygen sealer I think it goes no of course it doesn't it goes in, t in from the other bloody way you know what just fine there you get output vent blocked are you kidding me <laughs> Gosh! There, you're happy now? Enable seal, not enough. Oh yeah, this, ne this needs power as well. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. So, uh... Have I got one of those infinite batteries? Uh... There we go. Uh... Boom. Yep. Yeah. 
checking seal. I'm afraid we're going to need something. Yeah, I was already afraid of this. So, uh, when you go, you I think you also need a sealable oxygen pipe, which is use just two tin decorative blocks and one oxygen pipe, which will give you this. I'm afraid this is going to... And also, so if you replace that with that, checking seal, this should work sealed. Okay. So now, if we go to game mode survival, and we actually put our oxygen mask and gear and tank off, we should be able to breathe. The moment we're opening the door, however... Oh. Ah, maybe you don't need the controller. Alright. So I think you don't need the controller. I think... Okay, so you do... You don't need controller. So, um... Alright. Good to know. And there you have it. So this is your base. Um... Right, we can breathe in here. Let's just close that. Because, hmm, weird. Maybe you do need... Oh, whatever. Uh, okay, so now we uh, have the... Aha. So now you have your base on the moon. Now, in fact, you might... You might actually also need to bring with you the oxygen compressor again. Uh, to refill your tanks. Um, so another one of uh, these in order to refill your tanks. I'm afraid so. God, gosh darn it. I'm really, really getting... There, can we connect this as well please? No valid... No? Why? Why? Why not? No. If it doesn't work. Right? Like that. So, if we place our oxygen there... And, of course, if we make sure there is a power source... So, of course, if you want to connect an external power source uh to in your base you're going to need sealable aluminum wire which is uh if i just look back into the menu uh heavy aluminum whatever it's just heavy aluminum wire with tin decorative blocks so you're going to need that in order to create a complete sealable thing now that's actually one way of doing it there is a second way now if i just re if i just go to game mode S already, and I just do this re equip my stuff, and I go outside. There is actually a second way to do this, and that is with the oxygen bubble distributor. I do believe this needs oxygen as well, or will it get that from the tree? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't f I think it will actually oh my god really oh. all this switching back and forth god damn it you know what I'm just going to give me my I mean, you can't stack these are you you're they're laughing with me they're just laughing with me so I think this doesn't uh, Will this get oxygen from itself? Let's just check. Where's my battery? There goes my battery. Give my battery back. If I place it in there. Nope. So it the oxygen bubble distributor won't collect oxygen from the collector. So you are going to need to hook uh, these things up. Gosh darn it. Like that? No, like this. Alright. Uh, what do you mean, not enough oxygen? 
it is out of it doesn't does it come into here I think it it goes all to there so let's just set up a second one then with um actually makes a sound like glass now don't go to tell me the bullshit of the vent was blocked ah oh, you are it's such a lot of work this mod unbelievable so we do need another power source so oh uh, still so creative no I don't need invest in I need this there we go, so this will... Ah, alright, there we go, there we go, you see it happen. So the oxygen bubble distributor will create a bubble of oxygen. So, in fact, if you bring that, that, the, an oxygen collector and an advanced solar panel, you don't even have to work with those sealable pipes and all that stuff. No, you can just create this bubble. Isn't that cool? I, I This is so cool, I really like that. And to prove you that this will work... I'm going to take off my oxygen mask and my oxygen gear and there we go we can breathe because we have a bubble of oxygen now on to the sensor glasses which were not really necessary but if you press these you will have this kind of view and that doesn't do anything well I've, I'm sure it does something but I thought it did something else apparently not Let's just forget about these, alright? I will maybe explain them in another episode. Okay, so now we actually have a fully operating oxygen base. Right, that's cool. Really cool. So it seems the oxygen bubble actually stops here. So it doesn't go too far. Um, now, let's just check if we put on the gear right and if we go outside the bubble let's see can we eat this no okay can we eat can of food no we can't as well so we have to have air in order to eat so now I think this should work no it doesn't interesting this doesn't do shit as well. How am I supposed to do this? Oh my gosh. Let's see here. Um, where is our food? Our food supply. Um, Not here. Really? Oh my god. Do we have to open these or something like that? I don't know. Uh, I know I should get more prepared, but I really wanted the surprise um, for me. Dehydrated food, right. Eating the simply holding your hand and hold right click. No, wait, 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 wait. I think you have to open the. I think you have no. I don't understand. It says that we. Sh oh yeah, I'm not hungry. Ah, that's such so stupid. Let's just run around for a bit. Let's just get very hungry. Let's just do something, punch stuff, get hungry. Do we have a potion to get hungry? I don't think. We could try and eat zombie flesh, but that won't work because I'm not hungry. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. 
So yeah, this mod of course adds some more mobs as well. So I'll show you those in a minute. If I just can uh, get hungry. This is going to take a while. Let me just show you them right now. Let's just get my gear back on. And go into game mode C. Is there a potion for hunger? I don't think there is. Uh, potion of poison, swiftness, no, healing, healing, no, 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 ah, god, well, whatever, so, uh, right, let's see, so we have the creeper, uh, squid, villager, spawn, aha, uh -huh. if you give me, so, let's just get rid of all this, spawn, evolve, creeper, evolve, skeleton, skeleton, vast, these are um, from Mars. Alright, and then we also have this one. Alright, so the alien villager looks like this. Hello. That's pretty nice. Okay. Um, I don't think they are. you can find them around here. Maybe. I'm not sure. They might just be able to, but I, 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 they might just be able to walk around. But I think um, they'll, they, they turn into normal village. What am I saying? Uh, oh my gosh! This my chair is actually so bad. I hate him so much. It is terribly uncomfortable. <clears throat> Ooh. No results found. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Well, then I don't know what this guy exactly does. Well, the next thing, the next creatures will spawn at night. So we have the evolved spider, which has 22 health and has this kind of oxygen thing. On his back, the evolved zombie, which is bigger than you and will burn in the daylight, and has 30 health. Oh my gosh, he is a badass. Um, a evolved skeleton has two bows and will also burn in the daylight and is bigger than you, so pretty nice. And the evolved creeper is bigger than you, has 25 health, and I'm not sure if he has a bigger explosion. I don't really think so. So as you can see, this sword has knocked back 10, and that knocks them back a whole lot. Oh my gosh, that's just so cool. Critical hit! There we go, you're dead. And the next thing we have is the evolved skeleton boss. Alright, that's going to be pretty cool. If I spawn them, him in... Right, that's this is how he looks like. He has 150 health, and he will pick you up and throw you away. As you can see, that's pretty cool. So let's see what would happen if we defeat him. Oh, I hate that I have the sword with knockback now. I'm trying to attack him from above. Well, that doesn't seem to work. Critical, critical, critical. Oh gosh. Oh. Oh, he, he's a bit spinny, I must say. Alright, and he drops the tire one dungeon key. I actually think he spawns in a dungeon. I'm not sure. I think there should be a... Uh, I'm not sure if I... I'm, I'm, you know what, I'm going to try and find one of those. Let's just... Uh, well, what was that? It was like it was raining. Did you see that? That was weird. So the earth is there. Uh, so let's see here. No, no, no. Where are my coordinates? Moon. I hope. I hope if I spawn. Mm, I'm not sure. Actually. Oh, 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 right. That's right. We actually need something. We have one last thing, and that's our flag. Right. So if you just, if I just switch from, you know, all these guys away. So you, if you want to plant a flag, you just hold it. 
you right click charge it and fire it to the ground and there it is look at that he is so fabulous so you can have any color of flag as you can see you can even have the american flag and uh, with its uh, standard it's with your face on it and to make a flag you actually need three steel poles and four canvas so now we have officially approved that the world of gaming was was here let me just see if there aren't any nearby dungeons and let's actually also dig into the ground to see what we can find so this is moon turf we also have uh, dirt apparently let's see if there is any kind of uh, you you should actually sp are supposed to be to find ore so when I go into the creative menu and go to galactic craft moon you can actually find copper ore here tin ore uh, cheese ore some dirt, stone, moon turf, bricks, which I think are from the dungeon, cheese skirt, raw meat uh, meteoric iron, which is found from falling meteors, and then you can make those compressed in iron and compress it as well. And you can also make a block of cheese. Now, let's see a dungeon. I think those are actually mostly in craters. And then there is actually one final thing I should show you. Let's see. Are there cave systems in the moon? Because I can see them. It's definitely not a dungeon, but a cave system. Hmm, weird. Flying goes a lot slower in here, or is it just me? I don't know. You know what? I'm, I'm actually going to look it up on the wiki. And I'll be right back. Guys, it's right here. I thought I saw some darker stone already. So it's just right here. So um, this is, what is this? So this is the stone, the moonstone. This is an example of the tin ore. And this is, of course, an example of the Tire 1 moon dungeon. You'll find monster spawners in here as well as cobwebs. These are regular torches, but this is normal, because if you try to place a torch down, they will go out immediately, because we're on the moon. However, you can use glowstone and stuff to light your way. So let's just grab some, and let's go forward into the dungeon. So, just ignore the mobs. Don't ignore all of them so you're gonna have a pretty tough way fighting yourself through here so it's pretty narrow you may find some chests here with supplies um, like dungeon chests in the overworld so pretty random loot load but they are very long actually and these are bricks you can mine these they look pretty nice and there we can already see the boss room so let's see here get away I think they he normally spawns uh, yep so once you will enter the room the boss will spawn and you'll have to defeat him and then boss despawn don't leave the boss room while Okay. Well, anyway, if you kill him, you can go to uh, this room, and there you will find this treasure chest, which you will have to open with this tier one dungeon key. So right click, open, and the fuck, there's nothing in here. Are you serious? Well, that's a r bummer. What the hell? Okay. Uh. That's weird, maybe that's a bug or something, I don't know, but that's weird, there's nothing in there. Alright guys, so we're nearly there, we're nearly there. I'm just going to show you something that, uh, I'm not going to show you how to make it, I'm just going to show uh, it because it's fun, and uh, you can use it yourself. So let's just get out of them dungeon. And back to our base. And the thing, that, the fact that I'm going to show you is a buggy, a moon buggy. Yes, that's right. So uh, you actually need gonna need a couple of components. First of all, you're going to need the buggy fueling pad, which is made by three compressed steel and three blocks of iron. And as with the launch pad, 
you actually have to make this in a 3x3 three three area. So like this, 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 bam. Okay, now the moon buggy itself, you have the buggy with, and you can again make it with storage space. It actually requires the NASA workbench. So it requires the buggy, the moon buggy schematic, which I think can be found in the moon dungeon. I'm not sure. Let's see. I'm not sure, but I think you can find them in the dungeon. Because you can't craft, I don't think you can craft them. Um, maybe you do. Uh, let's see here. Moon buggy schematic. There we go. So, it is required to craft a uh, so it is found, as I said, it should be in that dungeon, but it wasn't there, apparently. Anyway, so when you have a buggy, so uh, you have to make it into the NASA workbench with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 heavy duty plates, uh, one buggy seat, which is made with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 uh, compressed steel, one compressed iron. And you're going to need four buggy wheels, which are made by one, two, three, four letter and one compressed steel. So I think you can place this right here. Okay, it's a bit glitchy, I think. But right, so again, you have to need the fuel loader, place it right next to uh, the pad, like that, and just put fuel in there. So let's just find one of those canisters another bloody power source so keep in mind you're going to need a power source you're definitely going to need a power source so you, so you can either bring batteries or you can work with the sonar panels I'm hoping this is this works is it yes it is fueling nice satellite by the way So let's just wait until it is completely full. And then we're going to take it for a ride. By the way, are those circles? <gasps> circles in Minecraft! Yeah, there you go. We're going to take it for a ride. No, no, we won't. Well, I can turn it, but I don't seem... Oh, there we go. It does seem to be the... the uh, Azerty control... Uh, QWERTY controls, by the way. Open galaxy map M. Cool. Gosh darn it. Now, nah, there we go. Okay, so the moon buggy will go over one block high uh, places and is really fun to drive around with. Whoa, even though. Uh, oh, oh, stop, 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 stop. It's my, 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 my controls are not completely yet. God damn you. Ah. What is it now? No, this has to be Q. I don't know. Yeah. God damn it. Will it reset? I hope it reset. No. Vehicle down. Um. Uh, God damn it. What was the regular key? Sh shit. Oh, I'm gonna change it to. N n oh. I'm gonna change it to N then for now. Uh. Actually, M. Open the galaxy map. Woo! Cool. That's cool. Mouse one, select planet. I can't see my mouse. Move the map with oh, that. Wow, this is amazing. Zoom, you can zoom as well. Oh, I think you have to um, move it in the direction you want it, like this, and then right. Press overworld. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? This is so cool. So they are planning to add more planets, and as I said, there there are um, there are uh, things already. Uh, how do you how do you call it? Uh, Mars is already implemented. So okay. Now, guys, as the final part of this mod review, this is going to take an hour. I'm sure of it. This is going to take literally an hour. So you can skip during to during the boring parts. Um, so, we're going to need our rocket again and our launch pad and we're going back to Earth. So, goodbye Mr. Villager. 
We're going back to it, and we're going, and I will. I want to know where we're going to land. So we'll just do this, make the launch pad again as we have received it, and put our rocket in it. Now this is this might be a good time to check if it is actually full of fuel. It isn't. So your rocket is out of fuel. So one so one final thing, you will need a fuel loader as well. So into the basic astronaut kit back in the base there, I should have add another fuel loader because you're going to need to uh, refuel the rocket for the trip back and otherwise you're in a bit of a problem well I guess you could well I guess actually not what wait if we use this nah but it's not full so it will fuel your rocket for uh, a little bit but not completely so put that in there Give again, oh my God! I'm, I'm gonna be sick of these infinite batteries after this one. Load the bloody fuel. There we go. So now our rocket should load fast. Okay. So soon we're going to our trip back. So again, make sure you have your parachute equipped. You have all your gear. You can leave the rest. Um. Yeah, it's not important. So we're going back to Earth right now. So, here we go. We're going to launch. Away from Earth, back to... Away from the moon, back to the Earth. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Whoops. Whoops! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! That that's just amazing. <laughs> Our rocket is gone without us. Hey, come back here, you bloody thing! <laughs> All right, so that's something to keep in mind. If you um, let the rocket leave without you, you're in for some serious troubles. <laughs> oh my god! That that's oh my dear lord. So let's see. Uh, you're still loading. We're gonna need another one of these bloody fuel canisters. So I'm just, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Well, that's something. I just wanted to uh, make sure the parachute was going to work. All right. So now game mode survival. So let's see if we have everything. Da -da -da -da. Yeah. All right. Good. Cool. Let's get in fuel. 100%, let's get the real launch this time. So here we go. And we're away. Back to the earth. Bye, Moon. Nice to be seen, yeah. Now it's just total blackness, apart from the stars and the Earth. As you can see, the stars slowly get rid of the black thing underneath you, and now we're completely covered in stars. So this is amazing, this mod. How did he make this, like, space thing? So cool. So I can turn my rocket like this. Turn it up and down, but I'm not gonna do that because the rounds are going to crash. And our sound is gone again. Not really that much of a deal. And soon we'll reach our our um There we go! Okay, so we're back into our uh GUI here. Good. So, uh, let's go back to the overworld, send to dimension, hopefully we'll not land in the middle of nowhere. So our parachute has been, there's our chest with our goodies, he will drop down as well. There we go, there's the, uh, the launch tower and we're going to land absolutely, completely down. And, well that's a nice uh, welcome, thank you, thank you sir. Good. 
Unbelievable. I love this mod, really. So, where did my chest go? Oof. You mad, bro? There, my chest. Hello there. So, you get the ro launch pad back and the rocket fuel. Let's just... I see that creeper link looking at me like, Hi there. You want to play a game? I do. It, it's called blow your up. Blow your face up. So let's just get rid of that. Good. Right. Okay. So we're back. Whew. That was something. And luckily we don't need to go into quarantine this time. <laughs> okay. So that's it for this mod review. It's about time. Oh my god. This took a long time. So... If I just dump all the shit uh, back in here, like this, let me just get the launch pad. Just reapply this because we still have to go to Mars and create a space station. There we go. So, in the next episode, ladies and gentlemen, just get my car back. In the next episode, we are going to visit Mars. Uh, probably, yes, I will show you how to build a Tire 2 rocket, and we're going to visit Mars. And then in the episode after that, uh, if there's going to be one, but I think so, in the episode after that, I will uh, show you how to create a space station and what that actually is all about. Alright, so, would you, would you mind placing this? I don't know, I think it's not enough items or forge or whatever mod is seriously reducing the length see the range of how you can place blocks haven't you noticed that as well i did and it's damn annoying let's just place that and that all right so that's it for this episode of the walk lab we have gone through space and actually have to actually still have to put this uh uh, I've, I have no idea anymore. Uh, that's it. I have to put this mask and stuff off. <laughs> Alright, so I think let's just uh, do a proper ending in my suit just now that I have it. So, I thank you for watching. A like is always appreciated. Subscribe for some more videos and stay tuned for the next episode where we're going to Mars. Bye-bye.